You know I like to watch those big guys bang down low. These are old-fashioned big men too, Barry. They ain't these three-point shooters. These guys like to get at it like two big Brahma bulls in that painted area. Bulldogs win the opening tip. Newman moves left near side. Eyed by Moore. Leaves for Chavez. Bacha. And a Crawford. Crawford. Pops the three. Heavy rebound. Harrison. If they can keep the Bulldogs out of that painted area, they have a good chance of getting a victory tonight. Harrison inching his way in. Push back out. McLaughlin. Oh, look out. And Foster moved away from the pass. Moore from the elbow. Back to Harrison. Puts it on the floor. He's at the elbow. Pushed into the corner for Colin Moore. Corner three. Pushed out. On the run is Chavez. Back over to Newman. Ah! And over the top, Tyon Grant Foster. Well, that's the way you get back in transition. Defense, Tyon Grant Foster there to protect that room. I would imagine both these teams being a little sloppy. Bulldogs haven't played in 10 days, which is an extremely long time in the middle of a basketball season. Nice block shot right there. And then, you know, he had the... The Lopes have the luxury of having that exhibition game against Bethesda, but still, this is a more of a quality opponent right here, and another shot rims out. Shot by Crawford misses. Driving Grant Foster with a kiss. Well, that's where Tyon Grant Foster has lived for most of this season, slashing to the basket, getting those point paints. Top 35 offensive team in GCU. Top 35 defensive team in Louisiana Tech. What's going to give tonight? Again, one more time. He's got that devastating spin move and a slight hesitation move and attacks the big guy right at the rim. I love this right here. That move right into the big guy. Bacho not wanting to commit a foul. Has to lay off. Tiny Grant Foster goes off class. Gets the ropes off to a nice start. Henry at the line, native of Brooklyn, New York. Well, they were trying to determine whether or not there was going to be three free throws awarded uh, or two, and then let's see where this, just that foot on the line as he jumps in to tie on Grand Foster. That's always a tough one. You want to challenge a shot, the defender takes that space between you and him away while you're in the air and gets that contact. Henry, 62% free throw shooter. And the Bulldogs get their first point. Harrison moves left, freed up, three, heavy. Glothen tried to grab it, knocked away by the Bulldogs. Newman brings it up. Baseline. Quick underneath. Nice feed into Daniel Bacho. Yeah, Bacho and kids from Paris really knows that European game playing without the basketball. Rolls right to the front of the rim for the easy high handle. Glothen baseline. Oh, that pass is picked off by Chavez. Newman. Cuts in, lost the handle himself. He's on the floor. Jump ball, possession arrow, GCU. Yeah, we've had two good executions, once by the Lopes and once by the Bulldogs. But for the most part, it's been a little sloppy here to start. Turnovers on both ends, loose balls. But tell you what, this kid Bacho is a problem. If you don't keep him away from that rim, you're going to be for a long night. Harrison, Grant Foster, and McLaughlin did not play in the game over at the Luke Air Force Base against Bethesda. Bulldogs a little full court press. Tried to trim some off of that shot clock. Harrison moves left. Cuts in. Bounce pass. Brennan drives. Big sweeping right hand and good. Well, Brennan does a nice job. He collects that ball. Just a little head and shoulder fake out. Bacho out of the center of gravity. And then one dribble middle. Left hand. Uh, sh left shoulder right hand jump hook. Newman near side. Cuts back over to Crawford. Crawford, their leading scorer at 14.9 points per game. Newman, he'll cut it to the paint. That's knocked away. See Colin Moore get steals, get blocks. As good as Tyon Grant Foster. I must have said this. I've said it once. I've said it 20 times. He is so good defensively with his length. 
getting steals, changing and altering and blocking shots. Maybe Chavez. Chavez looks to drop baseline. Guarded heavily by Harrison. Pushed back out. That's going to go beyond the center stride. Yeah, I think Coach Astor right now is trying to figure out how to get his team settled down. This large GCU arena crowd has really got them a little discombobulated. Like I said, they have not played in 10 days uh, over the Christmas break. So there's going to be some rust for the first five to 10 minutes of football on both of these teams, but certainly for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs have done some traveling as well. They were at Seattle in their last matchup before Christmas. Harrison, that ball's knocked away. Heavy traffic. Chavez on the run. Looks for reinforcements. Leads for Crawford. Into Bacho. Aaron pass. Able to. I think it hit the shot clock. The ball hit the rim and bounced up off the, the score clock above the backboard. So that's automatically out of bounds. Lopes get the basketball. So, like I said, a lot of turnovers in the early going here. Just 4 3 early on here at Global Credit Union Arena in Phoenix. Pressure by the Bulldogs. Harrison. Eyed by Newman. Leaves from McLaughlin. A little slip there by Gabe. Grant Foster. He's driving up high off the glass. Doesn't get the bounce. Again, long arms defense. Now, you remember this Bulldog team, one of the stingiest in the nation. They don't, they rarely give up 70 points to any of their opponents and held Seattle under 40% field goal shooting in their last ball game. And Focha mixed match with Harrison. Yeah, Mouse in the house. Nothing Harrison can do there. You take the foul early, you make him take it out, baseline out of bounds. There you go. Look at the numbers, Scott, you mentioned. Yeah, allowing just 63 and a half points allowed. Yeah, it, it, and then look at GCU, 83.4 points, so 32nd in the nation. And you know, something, something's going to change. It's whether or not the Lopes can keep an up-tempo pace. So as with a corner of three, hits from a 37% clip from beyond the arc. Grant Foster over to McLaughlin. Open look, three. Good. Well, that's what you got to do. You break that pass, and then you look weak side for the open guy. And we've talked about McLaughlin. Lawson's ability to stroke that three. He said he worked uh, two summers ago, shot 500 three-point shots every day. Bacho leads from Newman, turning the corner from the elbow. Down low, Bacho off the glass. They're good at finding Bacho with that high handoff. I watched them pregame. All their bigs worked at rolling right to the front of that rim to catch that pass and either slam it home or lay it off glass. Three assists on three field goals for the Bulldogs. Long three by Harrison. Good. You cannot go under the screen on Harrison. He has extreme confidence in the green light from Bryce Drew to knock it down from behind the arc. Lopes two of four for threes. All ball, McLaughlin. Some other chicken. Got Bacho underneath. McLaughlin with the block. Let's see if they can get, get the secondary break here. Harrison again. Good. Nice job by Colin Moore, picking his way through the defense and then knocking down that triple. Lopes doing a good job blocking shots and then getting out in transition and running. Three block shots for the Lopes. Chavez leaves for Henry. He'll slice his way in. Left hand with a kiss. Ooh, was that pretty. Taking it all the way from the right side with the offhand high over the shot blocker, laying it in. That's a talented young man. Great matchup here in Phoenix. Harrison swings it over to Moore. McLaughlin. Brad Foster. Seven to shoot. Harrison. Three. Good. He's feeling it. Yeah, they are hot as frisk grease right now from the outside. Four of their last four for GCU with a couple threes thrown in there. Lopes up by six. Well, this is the tempo the Lopes want. They want to light that thing up. They want this game played in the high 70s tonight. Oh, man, they're just feeding Bacho. I don't know how you stop that, Barry. The kid's got extremely good hands. He's got good court 
balance. It's going to be a long night for Brennan and McLaughlin and those guys underneath to try to stop Bacho. Corner three. Bam! Well, they'll trade two for three. They are not getting out in the shooters. They get almost nine shots, block shots a game with the Bulldogs, but they are not covering the perimeter, and they are getting burnt. Five of seven for the Lopes in the early going. Another turnover. Tie ball on the floor. Lopes up by seven. They've been draining it from long distance against the Bulldogs. On the schedule originally, that would have been the Lopes' last game before this outing against Louisiana Tech. But trying to knock some rust off from the holidays, they went out there, faced Bethesda. Incredible matchup with a 124-74 victory. And it looks like hopefully it's going to pay off tonight, right? Or maybe not. <laughs> well, Kate, I was just going to say they've been a little bit better. Not great with the basketball, but a little bit better than the Bulldogs, the way they've been throwing it around the gym. And then before I could get the words out of my mouth, I threw that one into the front row. But I'll tell you what, their three-point shooting, they are hot from behind the yard. Five of seven, so whatever they did during that break, they must have been in that lab working on the three-point shots. Javon Blackshear Jr. checks in, as does Luke War and Sidney Curry. Let's see what the matchup is between Curry and Bacho. Chavez takes it, feeds it Bacho. Travel. So far, Curry won, Bacho nothing. Well, the Bulldogs have a real tough time executing in the half court sets. And that time, Sidney Curry, this is like beef on beef down here. About 275 versus 255. Harrison. Boxer leaves for Tyon Grant Foster. Curry, he'll look left. Give it back to Harrison from the key. Luke Ward. Cuts in, seven to shoot, six to shoot. Harrison, five, four, long, three. Big rebound, Luke Ward, climb the ladder, Blackshirt, three. Yeah! Luke Ward with a man-sized board finds Blackshirt Jr., who has been hot as fish grease himself from behind the yard. He started his welcome back in uh, the Colangelo Classic was a three, and he gets another one. Oh, Bacho. Bacho, Bacho, man. This dude is absolutely <laughs> wrecking the lopes inside. All the way over corner three. Chavez, good. Look oh, out, Bulldog. Just like that when the lopes are trying to put a little something together and separate themselves from Louisiana Tech. Five straight points in a matter of ten seconds. Now we got ourselves a five-point game. Josh Baker at the scores table waiting to be checked in. Harrison. Blackshirt Jr. coming off 20 points in 21 minutes against Bethesda. This match underneath if they can get the ball to Curry. Corner, Luke War, three. Good! Yeah, they got the Bulldogs stunned the way they can shoot. Apparently they didn't respect the Lopes three-point shooting ability. They're seven of ten. We haven't even played ten minutes of this game. Fade away, Newman looking sharp. Well, anytime that ball gets below the free throw line, it's dangerous for the Lopes. They are absolutely owning the battle of the points in the paint right now. And the Lopes keep banging over the head with the outside shot. Grant Foster underneath Curry, left hand and in. The way Curry just puts that big shoulder on the defender and says, hey, you ain't going to get to this lefty hook. Goes softly off class, but what a nice pass underneath. Devin Ree in the game for the Bulldogs. Chavez looking to move on Harrison. Ree cutting in. Tyon Grant Foster caught ball watching, and his guy goes right back door for another bucket inside that purple paint. Isaiah Shaw joins Josh Baker at the table. Harrison quickly over to Blackshirt Jr. Grant Foster cuts into the paint. Driving. Big right hand, too heavy. Yeah, I think he wanted the foul. I thought he was going to dish that one underneath the Curry again, let the big guy slam it home. Watch him underneath with Curry. Curry gets the foul. Six point GCU lead. Now look at this rebound by War, then the Blackshear Jr. Welcome to the party, pal. What an iron. So kind. This is, of course, 
the last non-conference game on the schedule, so you don't want to get ahead of yourselves, but so far, it's some pretty special basketball out here, guys. Yeah, Kate, I know the set down there with those blue sunglasses. Do you remember back in the slab dunk contest when he put on the blindfold and took off from the free throw line to win the slam dunk championship as well. He looked like a Hollywood star yeah, down that's there. A, that's a cool look. I like that. I, mean, I hadn't seen him with the dreads in a while. He's got the blue coordinated everywhere. Arc. Basketball game to close out 2023 here at Global Credit Union Arena. Isaiah Shaw, Baker also in the game. Curry leaves for Blackshear Jr. Crosses over, back to Luke War. He'll put it on the floor, drive underneath, draws the foul. Well, Luke War, I thought he was going to shoot that three, and apparently the Bulldogs did too because he rushed out on it. He put it in drive, took it right to the basket, got that contact. And that's something we talked about him before. It's like he always comes out firing the threes. I always think he'd be better served getting into that painted area, try to cut into that disadvantage. The Lopes are 14 uh, to 6 disadvantage points in the paint, but they're killing them from behind the arc area. Plus 5 to 3 point main field goals. Curry checks out. Duke Brennan back in. And uh, Blotham getting a little bit of treatment. Looks like on his back. Yeah, what is that device on his back? Looks like some sort of... Uh, Brace, maybe. A, oh, it's, I think it's one of those heating pads, Barry. They got these new fangled heating pads we didn't have back in the 90s. Flash lights, a kind of massage and therapy working. We just had those old hydroculator things with big pads that smell, smelled like a fish tank. Oh, they, they, smell, <laughs> they got they got even high tech here in 2024. Crawford back out into the game. Jordan Crawford lost it. Careful, Baker almost lost it. Looks like a receiver looking upfield. Luke Ward puts it on the floor. He lost it. Ball the bouncing basketball. Yeah, I got players trying to do too much. Just make the simple play. Say it, Crawford. Step back. Heavy. Pulled down by both War and Prentice. <laughs> like, you want your guys to go out there and fight for those rebounds. Luke War wanted a little more than DB. Or getting some extended minutes away from the basket. Yeah, you, you, Duke Brennan was posting up deep underneath, and Crawford didn't want any part of that. Just kind of tossed him down towards that baseline. So only the second team foul uh, on the Bulldogs. The side out of us, I mean, baseline out of bounds here. And this is where Lopes have been really good. These BOBs, these baseline out of bounds plays, executing for buckets. Into war. On by Henderson, back out to Baker. Moves right, cuts in, lost it. Wall integrity, not so strong. The drive and a good block there by Isaiah Shaw. How about Isaiah Shaw stepping into that driving lane and taking one for the team? Getting back on defense, knows he's in a bad way, gets those Nike set down there in that driving lane. Son of a coach taking that charge right on the numbers. Under eight and a half to go. Opening half. It's up by seven over the Bulldogs. Shaw. Bounce pass into Brenton. Gets his own rebound. Knocked out by Crawford. Uh, Duke Brennan did a nice job following his own shot, but then kept that ball down there where those little guys live and got it stripped away. Tap back. Will Allen. Yeah, Allen getting in there. Right now, the Bulldogs are owning the paint on the offensive end. 16 points in the paint. Shaw. Off balance, no whistle. Louisiana Tech brings it up. Henry, far side. He's for Jordan Crawford. Crossover. Now to Isaiah Crawford. Long three. Good. I don't know if that one was on the scouting report or not, but if you're going to give a guy six feet, he's going to line it up the laces and knock it down. Both teams hitting from 60. Shouting with Homer. 
Great book. Harrison crosses the center drive. The lead is now just two for GCU. Moore baseline underneath. Stop but draws the foul. Well, that's a nice drive there by Colin Moore. The low lead has been trimmed from 10 to 2. And yeah, you made a lot of jump shots earlier, but you can't live on that arc. You got to get some buckets inside the way the Bulldogs have been banging the lobes in the paint. Nice to see Colin Moore using those live legs to try to finish out the basket. McLaughlin checks back in. Yeah, you're seeing Coach Bryce Drew shuttle a lot of guys in and out of here. He's got about an eight or nine player rotation. He's very comfortable moving guys in and out, see if they can keep that tempo as high as they can. Like I said, it's already 30-27. Louisiana Tech does not want to play a game, you know, in the 75 to 85 range. More connects. Lead back up to four for GCU. Henry, Zaya Crawford, driving, stopped there, pushed way out. Henry, over to Jordan Crawford, eight to shoot. Henry, long three, heavy. <laughs> you got big Bacho down there and Brennan rustling underneath. Just kind of knew that one was coming off, right? It was good defense by the low, a shot up against the shot clock, and Bacho just went down there in the front of the rim and threw Brennan. It was like wrestling a 14 pound, a 14 foot alligator when you got a man like the size of Bacho, seven foot tall underneath there with those long arms. Bacho, the transfer from Texas Tech. Bounce pass, Isaiah Crawford. Driving that left shoulder, step back. Pulled down by Moore. And give Laughlin a lot of credit. He had a nice bomb bar down there on Crawford. He was not able to get any closer to the basket. Had to settle for the fadeaway. A little pass for Moore. Bounce pass into Duke Brennan. Oh, through the foul. Couldn't hit the bucket. Devastating drop stab, fake center, come back baseline, and really, I think, had the uh, advantage. That's one he'll look at in the film session and go wonder how he missed that one. But the footwork development by Brennan, the last six to seven basketball games has been off the chart from where we first started. I, got, I keep saying it. Casey Shaw, the assistant coach for the Lopes, has worked really well with all the bigs. Uh, and I think the, the his best prod there he is right there my old teammate right in the center of that shot there behind coach Bryce Drew uh, it, The biggest beneficiary I think has been Duke Brennan. He was a little bit, you know rushed early his confidence now is off the charts Brennan sophomore transfer from Arizona State Pushes the lead up to five here in this opening half Bacha Turns, leaves for Newman. Newman looks to turn the corner, swung back out. Henry, three. Oh, no. Oh, my. Tyon Grant Foster called for the foul on the three. Cardinal sin, and that's his uh, second time he's tried to close out on a perimeter shooter and has been whistled for foul. So, you know, Grant Foster, they, they need him on the floor, not only, of course, for his scoring, but also for his playmaking ability, his ability to be able to get into that painted area and get himself to the free throw line. <laughs> he's, he's trying to tell the official that he's kicking his leg out on me. That's how I had the contact. I don't think the officials are buying what he's selling. <laughs> Got to be better. Henry, 62% from the free throw line coming into play tonight. That's yeah, from Southern Indiana. Looking for their first field goal in over four and a half minutes. Chavez checking back into this one. He's another one of these players you got to watch for. He's he's capable of lighting up that scoreboard. He had a 30-point game already this year. Just hits one of three. Pressure up over the top to McLaughlin. Well, Lopes on two trips. 
the Lopes on two trips they could not get to go down. Lead still at six. Newman directing traffic. Chavez comes over, switches. Up high, Bacho. Hold on, and he's fouled. Yeah, Colin Moore, his ability to slash to the basket and takes on the shot blocker by going to the other side of the rim for protection. That's a thing of beauty right there. That is a high degree of difficulty, and he made it look very routine. Lopes going inside for buckets. See, only one out of th their last three shots have been able to go down, and they got to do a better job on Bacho. I think they think Bacho's going to set a kick and stay on that screen, but he's so crafty and coming over like he's going to set a solid pick, but then he kind of just pulls out of it quickly and goes right to the front of the rim. His teammates are good at throwing that ball up high for where he can go get it. Curry back in for Brennan. Bacho, 66% from the free throw line. Oh, that's short, too. Loose ball. Off. Oh, that's going to be off McLaughlin. This came off hard and fast because it was such a short shot. None of the white shirts could catch up with it. That's a turnover in itself. Coach Price threw with a look of pain on his face, and his team was not able to get that rebound. A little flat-footed there on that second free throw. Yeah, just not ready to react, yeah. right? Right. Usually Gabe's pretty good at that. Well, you got to assume all those shots are going to come off, especially you're talking about a 62% shooter. Got to be ready for that. Look, he lost his eye way. Took his glove. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Gabe helping he him out. It up for him. Look Who does that? that? That is a servant leader. Newman, back out. Crawford can't keep his glasses on. Oh, and at the buzzer. Well, maybe he doesn't need the glasses. Yeah. I mean, maybe they're just protection. There's not actually for vision because he threw that one in nicely. Again, Colin Moore slashing to the basket, getting that body contact and going to the, to the line. But how about this? How sweet it is to be Colin Moore when you can do a play. The next member of their team. That's all coming up at the break. Guys? Look forward to that, Kate, coming up. As the uh, Lopes, as you mentioned, travel to Southern Utah on the 4th and then on the 6th at Utah Tech. Please tune into those two gentlemen, Michael Potter, the voice of the Lopes, alongside them with... Lopes Insider Paul Coro on the left, 1580 AM, 99.3 FM, radio home for GCU basketball. But Colin Moore finally able to get the Lopes off of 34. They've been stuck there for a minute. Gets one of those two free throws to drop. And Lopes in a dogfight here at 330, trying to get the momentum to the locker room at the half. Six of eight from the line. There's another steal. Oh, man, he thought Luke Ward was going to pick it up. I don't know why Luke Ward didn't go pick it up. And Colin Moore was thinking the same thing. Newman slicing in. Heavy traffic. A pie. Doesn't happen. You know, I love that by Sidney Curry. He had a smaller guy on him. Realized he's going to have to make a tough shot. Let me stay on the floor. Not make sure I don't commit the foul. Blackshire heavy. Rebound pulled down by Sean Newman. In on the feet, all behind the back. That was so nice. Almost an underhand Chicago style back pass over to Bacho. And I'll tell you what, the big man's so efficient tonight around the bucket four or five. Field goal shooting for Bacho. He's got himself nine points. Corner, Blackshoe. Mangum with that behind the back feed. He's checked into the game recently. Uh oh stepped out of bounds, Colin Moore. Oh, excuse me, that was Ray Harrison. So Ray's had a tough time tonight. Missed an easy layup, then he steps out of bounds. But look at this one more time here. Gets Sidney Curry to commit, just slips it right back to his big man. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. No look. Impressive. It's just playing a little flat-footed. Yeah, you can leave these Bulldogs an opportunity to hang around. They, they'll, yeah. they'll bite you. Crawford, Jordan. Big right hand gets the bounce. Well, right now, the points in the paint are really hurting the low. 22 to 8 disadvantage. Jordan Crawford, the hometown kid from Ruston, Louisiana. One point Lopes lead. War into Curry. Curry baseline. Swung quickly into the corner. Black shirt. Good. Well, Black 
redshirt junior, maybe with that bad knee, Barry, hasn't been able to be very mobile, but I guess he's just been feeding them balls behind the three-point shot for the last 10 months because he is really efficient in knocking down the triple. That'll put an end to a close to three-and-a-half minute drought for GCU from the field. Chavez moves. Oh, Blackshirt called for the foul. That's going to be a shooting foul, and that's going to be the seventh team foul on the Lopes as well. But Blackshirt Jr., his ability to be a catch and shoot offensive player has really developed over his time here in a Lopes uniform. He used to like to do a lot of the dribble drive setting up himself and his teammates and now he's got guys that can find him on the perimeter and he is making the most of that by knocking down shots first three hit in close to 10 minutes for gcu the blackshirt bucket bluffing in for luke wall chavez on blackshirt jr moving near side bounce pass mclaughlin Moves left. Curls frees up. Swooping right hand. Ooh, too heavy. Pulled down by Isaiah Crawford. Well, I like the fake handoff and then take it to the basket. I'd like to see them go all the way right into the chest of uh, Bacho next time. Chavez. Excellent. Drive. Push back. Front rim on rebound with a kiss. He rebounded that with one hand and still was able to control it. We are knotted up with a minute to play. Tied at 38. tie of the basketball game Harrison corner McLaughlin back to the corner Harrison ooh, almost lost it push back out McLaughlin long three big rebound pulled down by Mangum well the last seven minutes of this game has been dominated by Louisiana Tech in fact uh, coach Hester is going to get a time out here to operate uh, his final play of the half Try to take the lead to the locker room. Pastor, a former assistant at Louisiana Tech for three seasons before are up for the challenge tonight. Bulldogs owning the paint. Scott, 24 to 8 in the paint. Louisiana Tech. Yeah, and, and it's not only that, it's the second chance points. They have limited the lopes to only three second chance points while collecting six themselves. So doing a better job than the lopes at winning the hustle game in that painted area. Jordan Crawford, under 10, 8, 7, looking to free up from the stripe. Heavy rebound, Curry. Moore is going to heave up a shot. Count it if it goes. Off the mark. We're tied at 38 at the half. This is a slugfest between the Lopes and the Dogs. Yeah, Lopes got off to a great start, built himself a 10-point lead behind seven three-point shots, but then they... 11 points, but he's only got three boards and so you know coach Hester and staff got on him about getting there and start chewing some glass Whoops got to put a body on that big man Underway second half here in Phoenix Newman leaves for Chavez 10 opening half points for Chavez The old five-second count, Barry. You don't see that very much in college basketball, but Lopes will take the turnover any way they can get it. Coach Hester, he don't like that one at all. Harrison. Looking right. Leaves from McLaughlin. Brian leaves from Moore, near side. Bounce pass into McLaughlin, I'm there by Henry. Uh, all it around, it the long the lopes, went off of Chavez with nine to shoot. Yeah, but the, the sloppy one-handed pass, yeah, right? Yeah. So McLaughlin, we talked about Harrison, Tyon Grant Foster, they didn't play over at Luke Air Force Base, and their games are showing a lot of rust. Tyon Grant Foster, he's got to get himself going here early in the second half. Up high, doesn't go. Brennan tried to get the rebound and unsuccessfully. Newman swung out Crawford that's almost picked up by Moore lucky bounce there for Isaiah Crawford he stayed with the ball Newman corner three oh, mercy. Well, 
Oh, another, now the Louisiana attack is feeling as they were down 10 and struggling to score. They had to claw into it by getting points in the paint. Now that they got this thing tied up, this, they're going to start shooting from the outside. This is their first lead since the game was 8-7. to seven. Oh. And that's a good sign. Yeah, I, I know it's not the bucket the Lopes wanted out of Grant Foster, but that's a good sign that he put his head down and uh, went to the rack. You wonder what that delicate balance is. He's got three assists in the game in this opening half as Henry is called, checks out his third personal foul. That's 21 assists in the last five plus games for Tyon Grant Foster. Maybe it'll time for him to be a little selfish as I talk over that excellent drive by Colin Moore. Well, Colin Moore had a sensational drive in the first half, and he trying to get his team fired up. Went and slammed it over the big man. Chavez takes it from Newman. Bounce pass. Bacho picked off by Duke Brennan. Did not do a good job keeping Brennan on his back. Lopes trying to run. Moore. Oh, sweet move. Doesn't go. Rebound. Muscle. Pushed out by Bacho. I like the boxing number eight. He, he went right down here. This is the one before with the left hand. This is his offhand, and he jumped in and just slammed it right over to Bacho. And then he goes right back in there inside again. Fighting for uh, points in the paint. Harrison, three. Make it four. Oh, baby. His fourth three-point shot of the game. Great execution out of the baseline, out of bounds play. And the Lopes have the lead. Back up by two is GCU. Chavez takes it. Over to Bacho. Newman cuts in. Into the paint. Left hand. Made it look easy. Yeah, they don't want to give up the roll to Bacho, but at some point in time, you're going to make have to stop the ball before uh, you know, the roll guy because it's rolled twice now down the left side of that lane line laid it in off the last. This guy's got to get going. Grant Foster, he lost it. Had it stripped right out of his hand. Chavez. Tyon Grant Foster came back. Well, we saw Moore do it once, and this time Harrison just stay in front of the ball and let Tyon Grant Foster come from behind and swat it out of bounds. But nice strip there, and you, you think that the Bulldogs have a break, but boy, the closing speed of Tyon Grant Foster in his basketball game on some of these breakaways has just been amazing. Four blocks and four steals for GCU. Isaiah Crawford driving with the right hand. Too fast out on that perimeter for Gabe McLaughlin and Louisiana Tech grabs the lead right back with two straight buckets. Drew wants him to move. Stop, pop from the elbow. Good, Ray Harrison. Well, this is the Ray Harrison of 22, the real aggressive Harrison, realizing Tyon Grant Foster ain't got it going tonight. I'm going to have to take more of the scoring load upon myself. 14 for Harrison. The high pick and roll right now is going to be a staple for the Bulldogs the rest of the game. We go back to this one more time. Gets a good screen by Duke Brennan. Just absolutely buries Harrison's man. He frees him open for the jumper. Yeah, Duke Brennan, Gabe McLaughlin, Sidney Curry, uh, all the bigs do a real good job of setting screens on the ball. Tied at 45. Going over to Bacho. Brennan. Corner. Chavez. Three. Heavy. Rebound. McLaughlin. Lawson with this only his first rebound of the game. He's normally a guy that's around 8 to 10 every night. Colin Moore. Hesitation with a kiss. Let's see. Yeah, down, down there. Showing off the biceps going inside. Lead change again here. Now the low snatch the lead back. Go up by two. Chavez. Bacho. Looks right. Newman. Moore playing tight, shuts down the baseline, swung out, Crawford, 
Moves left. Stop. Pop. Good. Now, it was a nice help over by Brennan, but Crawford now after getting that bucket inside now with that little medium range jump shot finds the range again. <laughs> this is the, the buckle up Lopes fan yep. there for a tight basketball game the rest of the way. Zion Grant Foster. Oh, wow. You gotta love the dribble drive though. Yeah, he tried to take off from the letters in the painted area to dunk that basketball. Colin Moore has been the man possessed here in the second half. As well to over 10 victories on the early season so far, guys. Great to see the Millers in attendance. Husband Derek, Crosby and Cy alongside Coach Miller. Congrats. 10 and 3 on the season. Yeah, they get it done. They, and they get it done on the defensive side of the basketball, oh, yeah. which I love. Forcing turnovers, getting steals, getting buckets in transition. I really like the way her squad plays year after year. Grant Foster going back to the gold in the second half on the footwear. <laughs> Maybe that had to work Changing a little bit better for him. I like when he does a good job getting himself to the free throw line when he's been struggling, missed a couple shots. Again, tonight hasn't scored the way he wants to and the Lopes need him to. Gets himself to the free throw line for a couple previews. Newman trying to find some room again with that uncontested dribble drive off the glass. Yeah, I don't understand why they're not helping going on here I don't know if Gabe McLaughlin ever took the ball in bounds but anyway play on they got to start coming off of those wing shooters and make it a little tougher for Newman inside Grant Foster three heavy Luke War heading to the scorers table Corner, Chavez up over the top to Bacho. Left arm, and Brennan working him. No room to go. Great job by Brennan in the pickup by Josh Baker. Yeah, Josh Baker was just right there, just sat in his lap. Ooh, stopped by Bacho. I think they're going to call a foul. Yep. When you go to the hole hard the way Grant Foster has on these last couple dribble drives and this one here, just you put that pressure on the official to make a call. You're either going to call, uh, you know, a clean block, or you're going to call a block, and then we go to the foul, get myself to the foul line here, and that's what you got to do. That three-point shot that he shot was ugly. His shot's not falling. Get yourself to the free throw. Line. I got to tip my cap though. Bacho looked like he got nothing but ball on that one. And he probably, and he, and he may have. But that's what I'm saying. When you're aggressive like that, yeah. the officials will always regret, uh, reward the aggressive player. It's both. The Lopes fans hoping that's a turning point for Tyon Grant Foster. They're accustomed to double-digit scoring from the 13th leading scorer in the nation. Yeah, a couple free throws, Barry. They'll get you off the off of that snide, getting that basket looking a little bigger on your next jump. Chavez, three. Blocked by Harrison. Yeah, Harrison got out there. He he helped off the corner and then closed out and got the fifth block shot for the Lopes. This is what I'm saying. Can't keep letting Newman just dribble drive right down the line. You got to come off of those shooters and then try to disrupt it, close back out and disrupt the shot from the outside. Every time we got Luke Ward down there banging in on the baseline out of bounds play. That's the second team foul on the Lopes. We're working on Isaiah Crawford. Loose ball. Chavez on the floor. Jump ball. Possession arrow GCU. Yeah, I think they did call it jump ball, Barry. You're right. But it seems to me the Lopes are always the second of the two players to get on the floor. And I got to give the Bulldogs a lot of credit. They're playing with a lot of hustle and intensity here tonight. Pressure. Baker over to Luke Moore. Brennan. Leaves for tie on Grant Foster. Weaving his way. Twisting. Fade away. Brennan got the rebound. Just muscling with their left. Doesn't go. 
look at Pacho. Yeah, Pacho on the run. Wow. Just put a stop to it and with the kiss off the glass. Yeah, you know, Brendan was kind of checking his nose like he got popped in the nose, and Pacho was in a full sprint. His teammates rewarded his run down the floor with a nice little lay-in. Stop, pop. Oh, nice for two of his roll. That was a scud missile. That, that was landed scud. between the backboard and the rim and just died and fell back into the bucket. Normally those things come out so hard and fast. That one there just, it was like a wedge shot. It just landed right next to the pin and spun into the bucket. I don't know what that's, that's gotta like. be. That's got to be trouble. Got to be. Got up in the air there, didn't know what to do with the ball, came back down, what did they try to drop it. We've seen some ugly basketball offensively. We've also seen some real pretty basketball. I love when them seven-footers use their wheels, get out and transition. The big man from Paris running the floor. And then Harrison. Look at this shot one more time. Dude, just smashed into the backboard and the rim and just died right into the bucket. Pacho getting a break. He's been working hard out there tonight. I like that young man's game. Bulldogs for most of the game in that fifth gear while the Lopes are in their fourth gear. Tyon Grant Foster. Where is he going? Safe to say offensively, it has been a mystery for Tyon Grant Foster. The 10 days off between games have <laughs> really hurt him. He's been one of the hottest players in the nation. Absolutely. And uh, this cooling period has really cooled him off. Newman. Henderson Allen to Isaiah Crawford And get Gabe McLaughlin wrestling underneath Two-point GCU lead The old one because you know it's been with me 20 plus years, yeah, but I did get a new one So I'll, yeah, I'll break it in in the winter time, you know, I but uh, you know, it's sentimental value now. Those old robes are just like a good pair of old slippers. You, know, you don't really want to get rid of them. I think I was uh, giving a hint. That time for a new one. <laughs> Look at that play. Oh, the sweet. That feet was the nice. Man. Holy moly, was that nice by Coach Hester and staff. Now 34 to 12 advantage by the Bulldogs. Tie this thing back up at 53. What a beautiful play. Great execution by his players coming out of that timeout. Harrison's gonna have to carry the load here. Unless Tyon Grant Foster starts to light it up. That doesn't go. McLaughlin. Wow. Great work. Colin Moore. Jump ball. Crawford. Possession arrow. Bulldogs. Man. Well, Gabe McLaughlin had a little more want to on that one, which was really good to see. But unfortunately, Moore gets tied up and Essentially just a turnover for the Lopes will go the other way, but I love that one right there There's a guy getting out on the floor and taking a little knee burn for his team Tied at 53 yeah, the points have been hard to come by 27 points in the first 10 minutes and I don't need to do the math Barry just 25 points in the last about the last 20 minutes So, you know Lopes, I don't know where they're gonna go for offensive buckets just straight up the gut. Yeah, we keep talking about it, right? 11 lead changes now. Louisiana Tech back on top. But, boy, are they just getting gutted inside. Coach Bryce Drew just can't take anymore. 10.58 to go. Second half. Louisiana Tech regains the lead by two. Let's send it over to Kay Longwood. Winning championships, either in the tournament or regular season. Yeah, I came out and uh, watched the baseball game with you last year. That's a beautiful stadium that they got here on campus. I'm going to try to do that again this spring. Come out and check out the Lopes baseball team. But, yeah, I had the WAC championship and the trip to this NCAA tournament on my top 10 sports, Valley sports scores. Nice way to come out of the timeout, Scott. Corner three by McLaughlin. Yeah, they needed it. Uh, much like Coach Hester's team operated out of the timeout, Coach Bryce Drew's team went out there and executed, got McLaughlin a, a three-point shot. So now the 12th lead change of this basketball game. And look at it. Come out with this little matchup zone defense to try to throw off the Bulldogs here. Coaching staff is pretty animated. Moore's going to be called for the foul. Step late on that. Yeah, Colin Moore loves to get into those passing lanes and try to get steals, but that's going to be his second personal foul. But look at that bullet 
pass along the baseline by Harrison. Uh, his fourth assist tonight and finds Gabe McLaughlin who knocks down, I believe it's his third three-point shot of the evening. Baccio and Chavez check back in for Louisiana Tech. Henderson, Jordan Crawford, bounce pass, Isaiah Crawford. Step back, in and out. Nice little side challenge there by Grant Foster. So what he hasn't done offensively, just one of six shooting. He's done a good job defensively. Big rebound, McLaughlin went up for it. Stop, pop. Ooh, doesn't go. Yeah, you know, it's when, when McLaughlin and Brennan get off and to rebound it, they, you know, it, it really seem few and far between the way the Bulldogs have been able to clean their defensive glass, but just not able to get second chance points that they normally do by putting those back in. Bacho quickly, Isaiah Crawford. Nice high-low pass from the big guy, Bacho. I'll tell you what, this guy's got a nice game. You know, it sees the court real well, runs the floor, scores inside, and uh, it really good job that time finding his big, a little high-low passing. Dogs back up by one. McLaughlin. Far side, Grant Foster. Back to Gabe. Gabe, long three. Brennan trying to get a loose ball. Harrison comes in. Weaving his way. Nice recovery. Baseline. Leaned into it. Doesn't get the bounce. Pushed out. Barely by Louisiana Tech. The little big man, Ray Harrison, going down there and getting in there, getting that ball back. And he challenged Crawford inside. Little baby hook. We don't see a hook shots out of Harrison very often, but you know, understanding how important this time is in this game here at under nine to play. Try to get some points in that painted area. Mangum checks back in for Henderson. Ooh, slip and fall. Man. Long three, tie on Grant Foster. Gabe recovers, right hand and in. Well, there's a wet spot in that center. Wave it then. Yeah, it's a good thing, but uh, Gabe McLaughlin getting on that offensive glass, following up that missed shot by Tyon Grant Foster. Uh, two offensive rebounds now here uh, in the second half here for the Lopes. this one more time he, he, he slips down hits his chin on the floor doesn't phase him at all fires a strike to the outside said are right, you want to make it i'll go get it again off the offensive glass and put it back in make that eight uh offensive rebounds in the second half for the looks i got to give credit credit is due they're doing a much better job on getting on that offensive glass here in that second half mclaughlin working with three personal fouls Bangham leaves for chavez now to newman Lopes lead is one. Corner. Chavez. Harrison flies by. Nothing but net. Yeah, you want to close out on those shooters, but you got to close out under control. A little sidestep for three-point shot. Again, one on that seesaw. It seems like once the Lopes get the lead, the Bulldogs claw right back and taking it, the lead back. Looks like they got Isaiah Crawford. The dogs up by two. Back and forth, it's going to go. I don't think uh, we're surprised by how this game is transpired. Look at that. Yeah, that's 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 the Mel. Yeah. <laughs> that's the Mel man right there. I think I still had some uh, nice battles with statue. him onto the court. In fact, I I fell on his knee and caused the Mel man oh, to miss like goodness. 34 oh. four games when he's playing for the Lakers. And oh. a lot of Lakers fans. Sorry about that. Sorry. Still give me grief saying that we I robbed them of their championship and they lost to the Detroit Pistons that year in the finals. Not well liked by the morning. Oh, Moore tried to take it. Mangum working it. Henry, nine to shoot. Driving. Newman peels out. Chavez. Oh, he's red hot from that spot. Another three. Didn't we just see that a moment ago? He likes a little sidestep three. Largest lead in the game for Louisiana Tech. They're up by five. This team is used to playing tight games. Nice answer there by Harrison. All of their losses have been by single digits. So they're they're used to being in these, these uh, tight basketball games. Their last two games, one of them against the 
went to overtime. So they're, they're trying to get off their little two-game skid in any way they can. Tight defensive team. Floater, good. Man, not a lot of pressure. Well, it was a great bounce pass. I think it had all the Lopes players stunned. And no hesitation, went right into his little jump pull. Caught Duke Brennan flat-footed. High on Grant Foster. Working. Good. He had to work real hard. You're right, Barry, for that basket. Nothing coming easy for him, but Diane Grant Foster trying to find his way through it. Gets a second field goal tonight. Cuts into that deficit. One possession game. 61% shooting for the Bulldogs. The best. It was 56.1 Kansas City back in 2017. Oh, wow. Goodness sakes. Let's take a flashback to what you were just talking about. Oh, yeah. See, there, oh, there I oh, am. Oh. And I, I thought I had a real good closeout. And you, you didn't mm. slow this down. Watch Carl Malone reach out here and pull me back into him. See that? What pulls me back into him. And when I slammed onto his knee right there, I heard that pop that oh. players talk about there with their knee. I, I knew right away he was uh, injured. I called for their trainer. I was surprised he stayed in the game. He shot a couple free throws, left down the floor before they took him out, and then he missed the remainder of the season. <laughs> So, was it really my fault, Barry? No. I thought I had no. a nice little closeout on the shooter. Next thing I know, I'm getting grabbed around the waist. Yeah. yeah. And, they, and they whistled me for the foul. I mean, that's how those officials used to do me back in the NBA. Exactly. Guy pulls me down on top of him, and then he, I get the foul. Lead is three. Bulldogs kick out. Mangum three. Loose ball. Look at Josh Baker. Giving up everything to box out Bacho underneath there, and he didn't grab it. One of his teammates did. That was a winning plays right there. Heavy traffic there. Tyon's going to throw up the three off the mark. Yeah, I don't know when he's going to realize he ain't got Man. it from the outside tonight. He's going to have to do something different with it. But again, very little opportunities for the Lopes to get on that offensive glass. Second half shooting for GCU under 40%. Louisiana Tech 71%. Chavez goes to the other side. Cuts in. Loose ball. Gathered it up. Step back. Front rim. Loose ball. McLaughlin. Great defense by the Lopes and Harrison. Foster drives. On the pass, so just a 15 foul in Louisiana Tech, but I think Tyon Grant Foster is realizing I, I can't I can't throw it in the ocean from a boat right now from the perimeter. I'm going to have to keep trying to drive that ball to the basket. Yeah, 0 for 3 from beyond the arc, just 2 of 10 from the field. Eight points for Tyon Grant Foster, averaging 20.9 per game. Harrison with 18. Takes it back. Stop. Pops from the strike. Good. Well, that's a great little play right there. You get a couple wing guys that open up the middle and play a little two-man game. Almost a little give and go with the out of the inbounder. Duke Brennan just slips it right back to Harrison, sets the screen, and a little shot from right in the paint. 214 and counting the drop for the Bulldogs. Newman swung back out. Mangum three. Front rim rebound McLaughlin. Better close out by Grant Foster. Get clean your glass and then they're off and running. Lopes look to regain the lead. Harrison working with 20 points. Takes it back. Steps back with Isaiah Crawford on him. Corner baseline drive. Tie on Grant Foster. Reverse doesn't go. Newman. Underneath Bacho off balance. He is fouled Nice pass by Newman over to Bacho. Bacho gets that body contact. Big fellow is gonna have to deliver from the line Just one for four from the free throw line going to the wire Dogs up by one Fish I got the uh, 
White cheddar pop. Corn. White cheddar. That's a favorite. Oh my God, I'm, I'm loaded up. Macho at the line. Clutch free throw by the big man. Barry, I tell you, I like his game. You have said that. Yeah, yeah that, that, that young man can play. A lot of these guys from France or uh, Europe, they come over, and all I want to do is jack it up from the outside, right? <laughs> when Benyama, seven foot five, but this guy here, he's a seven footer. He likes to bang inside. He's fun to watch. Three point lead for the Bulldogs. Floater, Harrison, not there. Loose ball picked up by Isaiah Crawford. Walking it up is Newman. Almost lost it. More on him. Over to Isaiah Crawford. Looks inside to Bacho. Brennan's on him. It's going to be called. Yeah, they got it. Brennan got in a bad way. Bacho did a really good job of doing his work and sealing Brennan on his back. And Brennan had to try to reach around and to gain an advantage. And the referees called it. And that's going to be the eighth team foul on the look. So send the big fellow back to the free throw line once again. Second on Brennan. Both Grant Foster and McLaughlin have three personal fouls. A2 just a moment ago. See if he can get two more to go down here and put the loaf in a real hole. Bulldogs shutting down opponents, allowing them just 63 and a half points per game. The loaf sit at 64 with 304 to go. Yeah, well, we, we talked about it early on. The loaf really had the the pace the way they wanted early in the game, but it's been the Bulldogs that uh, have been able to flex their style of play upon uh, the Lopes here about the last 30 minutes. Harrison moves up top. Coach Drew instructing his team back out. Tie on Grant Foster. Another long three. This time he hits. And if he was going to hit, that was a good time. Said, Put this basketball in your mouth, Williams, telling me to stop shooting from the outside. <laughs> I make buckets. That's what I do. I'll tell you what, maybe that's why I was never a shooter. I didn't have the confidence after I missed a couple. This young man hit, knocked down a triple. He hadn't hit anything all night long. It's the crowd. A little bit of a spark here with 220 and counting. Crawford lost a handoff. Colin Moore with the athletic hands gets his fingertips on that one and causes the turnover. He thought twice about it, but then he said, I do what I do, and I knock down triples. And I'll tell you what, that was a big one from Lopes. Puts Grant Foster in double figures with 11 points and cuts that deficit down to one. Lopes have a chance to take the lead here. Buckle up. Approaching two minutes to go. Lopes down by one. Harrison, the leading scorer, weaving his way. Up high with the kiss. And a little bit of a block inside by Brennan to, to, to uh, free up Harrison. The 16th lead change gives the Lopes the lead by one. Coach Hester wants to talk about it. Timeout on the floor, 152 remaining. Well, when you need but I, you know, this is where Coach Hester has really uh, executed well out of these timeouts. Lopes got to be ready for these curl here. Trying to get a bucket inside with a high pick and roll with Bacho. Newman. More on him tight. Mangum was slicing in. Newman. He's got Bacho. Goes to Mangum. Puts it on the floor. Baseline. Push back out. Bacho. Newman. Seven to shoot. Six to shoot. Newman. Inching his way in. Trying to find Bacho. Loose ball underneath. More. Bacho muscles his way up over the top. I think that's a shot clock violation, Barry. I don't know if he got that off in time. They're going to look at it. It was close, and good job by Colin Moore going down and scrapping for that basketball. Look at the three, two, two one. one. Is that light on with the ball in his hands? I believe it is. In the other hand, it the other way, and <laughs> one guy got out ruled. So that's all right it's, it's a great basketball game and sometimes those will go your way sometimes they won't but i'll tell you what this is a one heck of a game one heck of a game Wolves fans on their feet 120 and counting harrison the leading scorer push back out tie on grant foster hit a big three he's driving draws the foul 
Went right to the shot blocker, got that body contact. Coach Drew had a lot of confidence in his struggling superstar. Put the ball in his hands, and the, and the young man delivered. Had a rough night, but look at him. Get right into there. Get that, that chest of that big man. Get that body contact, and now he's got to knock some more free throws down. He's been perfect from the line tonight. 4-4. Four, four. Baccio picks up his third. <laughs> They're so quiet in here. You could have heard a pin drop. I don't know if that's good for the shooter. Or make you a little bit more nervous when you can hear your own heartbeat when you're at the free throw line like that. Even they're whispering. Next ball. 12 of 14 from the charity stripe is GCU, Louisiana Tech, 8 of 15. One high pick and roll with Baccio again. Oh, more on the third down away. Isaiah Crawford up high with a kiss. Oh, my goodness. Isaiah Crawford rolling around, curling to the basket. Game McLaughlin could not keep the pace. He got a one point game under a minute to play. Nobody sitting down. Harrison drives left hand. Does it go, Brennan? Tried to put it back. Baccio with the rebound. The dogs bring it up with a chance to take the lead. Oh, Duke Brennan got that offensive rebound and tried to get cute with it instead of muscle with the power. He couldn't get it to go down. Lead is one for GCU, 36.4. Advantage points in the paint has been the story while they've been able to claw themselves uh, right now with a chance to take this lead on this possession. We're going to see the numbers. All four Bulldogs' losses have been by single digits. Crawford again driving. Shut down back to Chavez beyond the arc. Bounce pass. He's fouled by Tyon Grant Foster. I, I, I think he knocked it away. I think Tyon Grant Foster knocked the ball out of bounds there. I don't think right. there was a foul call. I could be wrong, but... Let's take a look at it one more time. I think Tyon Grant Foster knocks his basketball out of bounds right there with that right hand. He knocked it. 10 to shoot. 23.4 remain. The Lopes up by one. They're still looking for more to back up a little bit. Yeah, they've loved, they've loved the high pick and roll with Baccio. Let's see if they go back. They have 10 seconds to operate here. Push back out. Floater over to Baccio. A little off balance. Right hand off the mark. Loose ball. Three to shoot. Two to shoot. He lost the ball. Colin Moore on the run. He's fouled. Oh, Colin Moore was trying to get it over to a Ooh. couple of his mates. What a job. Scratching and clawing by the Lopes defensively. They got the turnover at the biggest stage of the game. Boy, it looked like Newman had the high hand off the Bacho. And just Bacho, I don't know if he just lost the ball on the way up, but his wildest shot of the night. And then the, another strip from behind by Tyon Grant Foster. He poked the ball away to Moore. Boy, Tyon Grant Foster has been huge defensively down the stretch for the Lopes. Um, understatement, free throw critical here, Colin Moore. Well, this is the big one right here because this will put him up three points and you can defend that three-point arc with 12.9 seconds to play. Force the Bulldogs to go inside for a quick bucket and then go back to the free throw line yourself but the other way. But do not give up a three-point shot on this possession. Made or miss. Lead is three for GCU. Timeout on the floor. <laughs> There's the Hall of Famer, Coach Homer Drew, loving the action tonight. Games, game clock's getting short. 12.9 seconds remain. GCU lead three. Inbound. Newman crosses the center stripe. Leaves it there. Henry, six, five. Swinging out. Chavez guarded heavily. Off. And that is it. Lopes win it. I don't know if they're counting that last bucket. It was a two-pointer or not a three anyway. So two. either way, it's still going to be 73-70. Uh, and the, the Lopes, it wasn't pretty for them tonight, but somehow they 
fought themselves a to victory here to finish out the 20.